One of the main features of the Back Professional is the possibility of drawing walls and partitions with a proper set of tools. This way the program will identify that geometry as walls and will combine with other functions of the program to speed up the drawing process. I'm going to start with the wall tool in a new file. I can either click in this icon or go to construction and choose wall. The wall tool is now active and I have to select the thickness. In this case, I select the one foot thickness which has already assigned a value of 30 centimeters. Now I can decide to enable or disable the orthogonality. I'm going to enable it and keep an angle of zero degrees to create horizontal and vertical walls. Now I can click once on the space to start drawing the wall. I can indicate a direction and type the length of this wall, for example, 5 meters. Now I can continue drawing the rest of the external walls by indicating a direction, typing a new value and pressing enter. I can easily change the insertion of the double line of the wall by pressing F5. This way the wall will go from the exterior to the interior. Once I have chosen a good insertion, I can indicate the direction, type a new value and press enter. Now I can click on the first wall to finish the external walls of the project. Let's draw some partition walls. For this I have to change the thickness. I'm going to choose a thickness of 15 cm. Now I can click in any existing wall to draw the partitions and click on the opposite wall to confirm the insertion. As you can see the pack automatically fixes the intersection of the walls and partitions as long as they are created with the respective set of tools. It's important to remark that every time I draw a wall, it's created as a unique element. That means that I can select individually each one of the walls I have created. This is very useful, but we should avoid creating the same wall in two steps as I am doing here. This will generate a wall with a division that will not allow me to insert any joinery in this spot. It is always better to complete every wall at once or using the wall modifiers such as the shorten lengthen tool. If I have the wall tool active, I can deattach the next wall from the cursor by doing a double right click. The first click will exit the current function and the second click will reactivate the last function, which was the wall tool.